hey guys welcome back to my channel today i have a new video and today i'll be doing my new year's look as well as i'm gonna try the natasha denona the zendo collection this is the other holiday collection so i want to do like two in one video because i there's not much days left so i wanted to quickly try it out and not keep it for like next year so i thought i'm gonna use these things and do a very simple halo eyes for sure i think i'm gonna do like halo eyes that is why i want to wear like this black top and with golden accessories and i want to do like a nice halo simple halo eyes i know usually i would love to do like a um, smoky smoky look but i think that i'll be doing up i have like three new years look planned for you i've already done one and there will be like one more for instagram but that may be like using the glam palette but today i want to do like a simple new year's look i'm not gonna go out that is for sure but i wanted to quickly do a simple look and also put like the review out using these palettes using these things from the collection so i thought i'll just do like two in one and so yeah here i am with that if you are new here to my channel my name is Charmin. i do makeup related videos tutorials reviews so if you come across my channel and if you are interested to watch my videos please do subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever i'm uploading a video the link to my instagram is also there in the description if you want you can check it out and without wasting time let's get into the video because i just have like these four things so firstly we have the natasha denona zendo collection so i mean the entire collection is not called like the zendo collection but this is like their holiday collection so we have the mini zendo palette this is the mini one then we have i need a nude glow highlighter and then we have i need a nude lipstick these are like two new shades so we actually have like these two things so these are the four things and i'm obviously going to use my nars foundation concealer and all the new things in the video so yes we'll be doing a quick tutorial so i think first we will i think i'll quickly just tell you a few things about the collection and then we'll start with the video in us this palette is for 25 dollars usually they are for 25 dollars and even on sephora middle east it is for 100 dirhams 100 dirhams 19 and 100 dirhams uh, the highlighter is for 42 dollars and on sephora middle east it is for 166 dirhams and the lipsticks also are for 25 dollars and on sephora middle east it is for 99 dirhams so we actually have all these things so we actually have these metallic colors for the sleeves so this is the eyeshadow palette i'll quickly show you from inside also so this is the outer packaging you have five shadows and you have two mattes and three metallic shades and this is the mini eyeshadow palette from natasha denona so this is the eyeshadow palette really pretty colors and i mean it can be like a wearable look and wearable palette so that is why i like you got this collection because it's really pretty and you can pair it up with any other eyeshadow palette if you want so these are the shades and then you have like a golden sleeve for the highlighter and from inside it's like this it's a really nice pretty packaging and it's like a magnetic packaging and this is the first highlighter like the individual highlighter that i got from natasha denona and from inside it's actually really nice it is like a proper proper champagne gold color so i love these kind of highlighters for my tin tone so i prefer these so i got this one and i'll see how it goes then we have the same two packaging sleeves colors for the lipsticks so i really love the lipsticks and these are one of my favorite bullet lipsticks uh, from high end and from natasha denona i prefer these over the lip glosses so these two are the packaging i have like a slight dent but it looks so big on camera but this these are the two shades really nice packaging and i love these packaging over the white ones which she normally has but this is like a really good metallic packaging and then you have like the shade name so firstly we have the shade andrea andrea so this is like a pretty nude shade and then the other one is maria this is also very very pretty so this is an innovative warm tone palette that 
conceptualizes a mix of a mix of elements and ambience where wood meets metal and nature meets modern oh my god the description is features five highly pigmented shades including dusty coral pastel pinks deep cool burgundy and a light taupe perfect to create neutral all flattering looks with a pop of color i really like the color story of this and it looks very similar i think i'm not sure what the mini retro palette actually go like well with each other and provides maximum color payoff with minimal effort blending seamlessly to achieve vibrant ultra pigmented long lasting looks compact compact size is perfect for traveling and allows you to complete a whole look on the go so you have five shades highest quality pure color pigments dazzling chroma crystal luminous mineral pearls buttery smooth hydrating eyeshadow formula paraben free cruelty free and allergic free so this is all about the eyeshadows then going on to the highlighter so this is a multi-dimensional metallic highlighting powder with a high shine finish formulated with the velvety smooth texture for the impact powder formula debuted in the tan cheek palette so i don't have the tan cheek palette but i think that this has the similar texture to that and now available in a champagne tone that complements all skin tone so this complements all skin tone but i'm not sure for deeper skin tone how it looks because usually she does like different looks on her page i mean with different skin tones so that's amazing a comfortable lightweight long wearing formula leaves skin radiant and glowing all day suitable for all skin tones and the shade is nude champagne and the formula works on any skin type or texture feather weight long wearing formula feels like second skin comfortable all day wear and buildable i mean it is buildable so you can do like two or three layers depending how much you like and then we have the lipsticks so now let's start the video so this is like a new year video i mean two in one i am really sorry but i couldn't like do a different video for new year as well as this because i mean i had said that i'm gonna be doing my last video on maybe 30th but i don't think anybody would be interested like watching videos till 30th maybe now if people are home they might but still so 29th might be the last day that i upload like my videos so i wanted to do this and i have like two videos more to go i mean this is a review video i po usually post like review videos on monday and today is sunday and i'm filming it today i have to post it today and tomorrow is monday and i still have to I still have like a video schedule for tomorrow so i mean i'm doing like two review videos in a week and back to back usually i don't do that but i have to put these video out by 29th itself because these are like this year's releases and this collection is like holiday collection so it's, it will actually be of no use if i like do like the review video next year and i mean i prefer the using this foundation with a brush i mean putting the foundation on my brush and then using it otherwise i use like a lot and this foundation is amazing really really nice doesn't cling to any dry patches as well the review video is already up on my channel if you are interested so i am actually gonna do just like one layer and that will be like good to go I'm just using like tiniest amounts so what are your plans i mean i have been asking this question like in all the videos but what but what are your plans for new year honestly i'm just gonna be at home the traffic gets so bad the metros like don't work like after evening so it's better to like be at home watch the fireworks sitting at home because they usually like show the live fireworks of burj khalifa and almost i think even for the burj al arab so i usually sit at home or maybe if at last moment we might go somewhere but i am not sure so this is for the foundation really nice and anyways now i think i'm gonna do my concealer because i have to do like my eyeshadow also so i'm going to use the nars one and this is also nice and this is also like a really good amazing concealer i really loved how it looked on my under eyes so i'm gonna use this only and i need to like wash my brushes they are all so bad and i use this brush to apply this concealer whatever is left i'm just going to prime my lids with that the concealer is actually pretty good and doesn't like crease a lot if i don't set it right away so that's what i like about the concealer so now i'm just going to quickly just set my under eyes and then we will start with the eye look because i'm going to use this brush and using my laura mercier powder and i'm just going to set my face i hope things get better soon 
related to covid and things are much much better in 2021 i'm just going to put the powder on my lids as well because my lids then crease a lot if i don't set it with the powder now going on to the eyeshadow tutorial i am going to use the palette and i'm just going to do a very quick eyeshadow tutorial using this and this will be like a fast forward video and because it takes a lot of time to do like an eyeshadow tutorial and i usually take like a lot of time so let's get into the tutorial oh my god i actually forgot i have to do like i have to give you like these swatches totally forgot so these are the five shades i mean they are very like wearable i this is the darkest shade that they have but let's see so firstly we have the shade stark which is medium dark cool burgundy so this is the shade stark very pretty then we have the shade bear which is a pastel pink color then we have the shade stripped which is a warm silver wow that is pretty then we have the shade dash which is a medium coral with light bronze shift this is also really really stunning shade wow that is actually very stunning then lastly we have the shade uncovered which is dusty coral shade gorgeous matte shade that is very pretty so these are the swatches they are really pretty this shade these two shades are really really gorgeous so now quickly let's get into the tutorial I just applied some rhinestones and this is like lower this is upper but anyways so now for blushes we will go with the nude stick one because I was actually using like on top of powder and I want to see how it looks on without like setting my face so I'll quickly use the other shade which is the poppy girl and this is like pretty like orangey color corally orangey color so my look is like that so I thought I'll try this color so let's see this is like a dewy one so i hope it's dewy dewy and i'm not gonna blend it too hard otherwise it will remove my foundation below this is such a pretty color i was i was not a like cream cream blush fan but i liked it after using the natasha denona like cream blushes i'm just going to take like a little bit here because after you like use your setting spray and everything it really melts in your skin and you don't see a lot of color i was actually not planning on applying rhinestones but i had these so i thought i'll just quickly use and see so when i'll apply my lashes and everything it will it will actually look pretty good now for bronzer i'm actually going to use the fenty beauty one because it's out so 
I'll use this one and then maybe I'll just set my face set my blush with the powder blush as well so I'm just quickly gonna do my bronzer and this is a very nice bronzer from Fenty Beauty is it is not very pigmented so you can easily like build it up and my skin is like so dry it is actually like peeling off near my nose and on my chin I don't know since two or three days again my tooth is like hurting me a lot I really don't know what the problem is but it's hurting me a lot and hurts me while eating and during night when I go to sleep it I don't know somehow it hurts a lot at night so that is for bronzer so for blush I'm going to use this LA girl blush in the shade just radiant it is like a glowy found a uh, glowy blush I'm just going to quickly set this cream blush just a little bit not that much and it gives you a nice glow now going with the highlighter from Natasha Denona so this is the packaging it's actually really nice and then you have the highlighter and it is like a magnetic packaging we will quickly use this on our face and I'll quickly just swatch it for I don't want to spoil the but I actually have to oh my god that is blinding that is actually really pretty and it's very soft it is not the glittery one so it's really nice we will use this quickly on our face on our cheekbones and on the higher points wherever i usually use so i like to use this brush which is from morphe r36 i can't really find anywhere this brush and i don't know cult beauty actually like some things when i add from morphe they don't they say that they can't deliver morphe products to UAE I'm not sure why to do that now I don't know but I was actually like adding wow that is pretty I was actually adding like few things but I couldn't order those that's actually really stunning I don't know how it is gonna suit like all these skin tones because it is like a champagne champagne color that is actually really nice I'm going to take it a little on my apples so that's actually really nice now quickly i will just set my face using the l'oreal setting spray i'm just going to apply this little bit in my inner corners i actually use the silver shade so i think i'll use this shade and i'll use this on my brow bone that is actually stunning now for the lips we will i'll actually quickly swatch both the lipsticks for you so firstly I'm gonna give you the show you the swatches and then we'll do lip swatches as well. Firstly I'll swatch the shade Maria. This is like a lighter nude shade. Wow. That glided so nicely. Then we have the shade Andrea. This is I think like a cool tone. But this is also very pretty. Both are really stunning. These are like one of my favorite lipstick formulas. So these were the swatches. Honestly, these shades are not looking that great on me. It is like washing me off and it is actually not going with this look and not looking that great on me so i think i'm gonna use like a different lipstick because it's not looking i mean the formula is really good the shade is not maybe if i pair it with like a darker lip liner or darker lipstick it might look great but now for now it's actually looking not that great i think i'm gonna see how it goes with this one because i don't even want to put like a proper proper orange color I really don't know whether it's looking good or not and I'm going to apply this Laura Mercier lipstick. Honestly, I don't know. I think I'm not, I have not applied my eyelashes. That is why I don't really feel how it's looking. But anyways, now I'll quickly just apply my lashes. I'll curl my hair and I'll just be back and then we are finally done and then I'll give you my final thoughts and reviews and then we are done with the new year look as well. So I'll just be back. back 
I just applied the lip gloss from Patricta. This was looking much better than the other things that I was applying. I wore this earrings. These are from Aldo and even this is from Aldo. They are actually not like a matching set but they go with each other and the earring is actually really pretty. I wore my rings and i applied the eyelashes from huda beauty which is olivia now quickly now going on to the review and my thoughts about my thoughts about the collection so i really love the eyeshadow palette from the natasha you know it is like very wearable shade even the darkest shade i actually use like to smudge my outer corners of the eyes and to like create a wing and i have applied that in the lower lash line the shade which is the lightest matte shade even being it's so light it actually you can see it on your lids so it's actually really nice and i honestly honestly love the both the coral shades they are actually very pretty didn't actually plan to do like peachy look but peachy corally look but it is actually looking very pretty i wanted to keep it more subtle and apply like rhinestones rhinestones also was not a plan but i think it's looking pretty good and also is looking amazing and i just applied like little bit of glitter from violet was and this is in the shade electric coraline just little bit so that it sparkles when light hits it that's actually all nothing else love the palette and i think i want to buy the retro palette so that it goes with each other because it looks very similar but it has like more of matte shades so it's actually really nice i, I would i actually recommend the eyeshadow palette it is very nice really good quality the shimmers metallics are really amazing mattes are very pigmented and they blend really nicely amazing highly would recommend the palette and there was not a lot of fallout so really good amazing now going on to the highlighter as you can see it is very blinding it is not chunky at all it is very very thin formula amazing and i think the color is also really nice i think it suits me very well but i'm not sure how it is going to suit like medium to deeper skin tones because it is like it is said that it is suitable for all skin tones but i'm not sure for darker skin tones how it is going to look because it is like proper proper champagne color so i am actually not sure but love the formula not glittery at all not chunky glittery nice amazing formula so really loved the highlighter as well now going on to the lipsticks now these lipsticks are one of my favorite bullet lipsticks from natasha denona they are amazing comfortable they glide very nicely they are not proper proper matte but they are very creamy matte i mean they they are comfortable and these are the proper bullet lipsticks but these shades are very like very nude for me and they are very light for me they actually like don't go with my skin tone if i maybe apply like a deeper lip line or i pair it with a deeper lipstick then i can wear it but i usually don't like use two lipstick at once to give like a ombre effect i usually don't do that i just use like one lipstick one lip liner and a lip gloss if possible if i use a lip gloss on top of it i think it is very pretty it would look pretty but the shades are too light for me uh so i'm not sure i think i have to work with it with different lip glosses and lip liners and see how it goes the formula is amazing but i just didn't like the shades on me the shades in general will look beautiful on a lot of skin tones me didn't actually go with my skin tone didn't actually look that great on me but the formula is really amazing so we actually have that and the collection in general is really nice just didn't like the shades of the lipsticks on me the shades in general are nice but didn't go well on me the eyeshadow palette and the highlight is really really amazing so this was the eye look that i finally created and i don't really know why my eyelashes is like don't want to stick so anyways guys this was actually all for today's video my two in one new year's look as well as the review on the natasha denona holiday collection so if you guys like this video please give a thumbs up share me what are your thoughts about this collection have you tried it and whether you like it or not and how does the lipstick suit you or not please do let me know in the comment section and what are your plans for new year's eve do let me know in the comment section if you like this video please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family and i'll see you soon in my next video Bye.